So, started to finally build an app. Haven't built one yet. It's weird because I keep talking about this project nonstop, but all I've been building is little tiny things. And uh, uh, this is you know, kind of the state of those tiny things. So this is what we had before, this dashboard. Uh, you might notice it looks really crappy, uh, but it didn't. At one time it looked decent, but uh, all of our CSS kept influencing it. So uh, that's also because this is not Polymer. So, uh, as far as elements, right, we got elements all over the place now. These are all elements, this stuff's elements, this flyout's elements, the flyout itself is an element. There's elements all over the place. Um, but it's not actually like a one-page app. So, what we're doing is uh, getting into uh, reading about retargeting and you know, just the complexity involved in passing things down in between these elements. But finally got something working here. So. Uh, this page is made out of nothing but Polymer, and so it's using a lot of our little system elements. Um, you can see I can tab through, and then things like, you know, this is state management right here, um, as far as being able to pass an event back and forth between elements. So this is um, figuring out that I'm focusing on something in the higher level, uh, or sorry, in the lower level item, but then passing it up to the higher level to make a decision so that when I tab over to here, it's keeping a class maintained. Um, may seem really complicated, but now that I have this kind of design pattern down, uh, one, it's more accessible than it was before. Previously, if I were to, I'm trying to overcome this, right? So if I hover over things, um, then I'm not really, it's, it, I can't get to it, right? I, I couldn't access it on a phone or whatever. Uh, this allows me to basically have a class that can be applied and then whenever the focus changes, so basically we're figuring out if there's a focus on an element that's of a like kind, um, then is it goes back and finds the previous one and gets rid of it. Uh, so there's a lot of custom elements playing together nicely thanks to that. Uh, I've started to do, just get into like modal and so that, that this you know, will jump up, I have a modal that pops up that's using the uh, body append aspect. We've also got consistency of um, uh, even just hover versus focus versus clicking on something. When I click something through, it maintains the same color consistency. Um, but if we start to peel this back a bit and see what this is, uh, we've got you know, iron list elements, we've got paper cards, We've got, uh, in the content of our card, we've got a, a little LRNC dialogue, which is then handling all the other aspects of the usability, accessibility of that event right there. Uh, so the way that looks when developing, so this is my Kanban board app, working on CSS, as we'd expect, we have two Iron Ajax calls at the moment, that's not what it'll be in production, but it lets me play with it. Uh, we feed it to an iron list, which basically just loops through and prints stuff down in a grid format. And then we've got our paper card, we've got our LRNSYS dialogue. And so passing dialogue, hover class amber lighten 2, is how it knows when I hover over it to apply that. Um, when, we, uh, when we add the header in, that you know, just where it says add assignment, that's how it knows when I click to say add assignment. Um, little things like that um, that really drastically reduce the complexity of the application bump forward. So you can see in, uh, we're using slots now. So in my dialog uh, for that add assignment, uh, it's saying, hey, in the icon, in the button slot, I need you to put an iron icon that's the add symbol. Um, in the content area, I need you to put this. So then this will come in from a data source and we'll just have the body of content there uh, in that case. But you see, to do that whole modal, everything is bundled up into you know, this nice little five lines of code, um, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> so then we can have other dialogues next to one another. Uh, we're leveraging that paper card. Then within the paper card, I have another iron list, which prints things out as assignments. So this takes in my assignment source. I create a row for the assignment source in normal div land. And then I have a system dialogue for clicking on the individual 
assignment, which then would trigger, uh, in this case, that's what happens when create assignment four, assignment three, uh, and so on. Um, then we also have buttons with specific, again, with the hover class state, with the ability to pass down classes from the higher document, uh, alt text, right? All of these things so that we can do that you know, nice little consistency of the hover state being the text and things like that. Um, consistency in clicking these, being able to say this is red and red will always be red everywhere. All these little things really start to add up. Um, so this is what I put together today. And um, the Kanban board that we were working on previously just to get to even just this point is way more than a day's worth of effort. So um, these things are really starting to stack on each other conceptually, which is awesome and has never been the case with anything else we've developed before, really. Um, you know, Drupal's all well and good with modularity, but getting to this level of complexity you know, is never really going to happen. So that's all I got for now. Uh, we're going to be wiring this up soon. We're going to be talking about these LRN things quite a bit, so it's different than actually building them. But I wanted to show something I made. So I'm going to hook this up to events. Not a lot more related to the functionality.